In this video, we're going to check and if needed, adjust the e-steps on an Ender 3 S1 Pro. This whole process can be done without using a separate computer, using only the printer's screen, a small amount of light colored filament and a ruler or vernier. If for any reason you can't see or adjust the e-steps on your Direct Drive 3D printer, then check out the video linked in the description below, where I show you how to adjust the e-steps in a different way. The first thing to do on your S1 Pro is navigate to the printer's e-steps by entering the settings menu and pressing the advanced settings tab and then selecting movements. Press the top option which says TXRTO which means transmission ratio and then look for the one labelled ETXRTO which means extruder transmission ratio. Make a note of the number you see here. By default yours will probably be the same as mine which was 424.9 millimetres per second. However, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to deliberately set mine wrong so that I can show you how to correct it. I'm setting mine to 430 millimeters per second. Once you've made a note of your current e-steps, then navigate back to the ready menu and press the manual tab. Select nozzle temperature and then set the temperature around 20 degrees higher than the printing temperature of the filament you're going to use. I'm using white PLA plus that I print at 210 degrees, so I'm setting the nozzle temperature to 230 degrees. This is to ensure that there's as little resistance as possible to the filament being pushed through the nozzle. Once your nozzle is up to temperature, load your filament as you normally would. Using a ruler or verniers, measure up 100 millimeters from the top of your hot end assembly where the filament goes in and put a small mark. Put another mark at 110 millimeters. Press the in out tab and then select the in option. Select 100 millimeters and hit the tip. Your extruder will now try to push 100 millimeters of filament through your nozzle. If your e-steps are perfect, it should stop exactly at your 100 millimeter mark. If it does, then congratulations, your e-steps are perfect and they don't need adjusting. However, if it's like mine, it's either under or over the mark, then measure from the mark to work out exactly how much filament has actually been pushed through. Mine over extruded slightly, so I need to measure back from the 110 millimeter mark to see how much it over extruded by. My 110 millimeter mark is now nine millimeters from the top, which means that my extruder pushed through 101 millimeters. I'd advise doing this three times and then take an average of all your figures to get the best accuracy. Now we have all the information we need to calculate our new e-steps. To find our correct e-step figure, then we need to use this formula. Substitute the M for the amount of filament your extruder actually pushed through and replace e-step with your current e-step figure. In my case, I need to divide 100 by 101 and then multiply the result of this by 430, which is the e-steps I currently have. My result is 425.7. This is what my e-steps should be. To input your new e-step figure, navigate back to settings, advanced settings and movement and then into transmission ratio at the top. This time select the ETX RTA box and overtype with your new figure and hit the tick. As a final check, mark and extrude another 100 millimeter length of filament and check that the mark now stops in the right place. Now you know your e-steps are perfect, you may want to calibrate flow. If you do, click here or click here for another video you might like. Thanks for watching.